everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with yet another Let's Play. This time it's going to be Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Uh, the Xbox version. And surprisingly, it is actually <laughs> going to be in 720p, which is ridiculous for an original Xbox game. I didn't even know they had games like that. But, uh, yeah, I just got this game, like, last week. And I was considering doing it blind, but, uh, then I started playing it. And I didn't stop playing it. So it's not going to be blind at all. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Um, let's see if I have everything sounding good or whatever. Good. It's good, I guess. Okay. See, I've already played for like, almost 11 hours. Oh boy. Sometimes. I gotta, I gotta practice some self control here. A little bit, a little bit. So there really, isn't, I don't think there's any voice acting. So, ah, oh, let's see if I can do some. Blech. Yeah, right. <laughs> the time I feared has arrived. The darkness prophesies will soon descend upon us, and we need to be prepared. I have chosen you both because you have already proven you are my most worthy apprentices mission that you are about to embark on will be a test of your strength and abilities. Prepare yourselves, for the path ahead will be highly dangerous. I cannot guarantee safe passage, or that you will return alive. But you must go of your own choosing. Now is the time to stand down if you wish. I see. Since you have both accepted the task, I will transport us to Uruk, the land of darkness. No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. There you will need to find the Blade of Osiris, an old and powerful sword protected by the demons of Uruk. Prepare yourselves for the journey. I, how do I, I can't prepare. You already teleported us. Ah. Ooh. This place looks nice. Good place for a summer cottage. Go fishing in the lava. Hmm. Yeah. Lava fish. <laughs> That's Sphinx right there. Yes, that is the infamous castle of Uruk. Nobody knows what goes on beyond those walls, at least nobody alive, but I can clearly feel an evil nature, the evil nature of that monstrous building. Look, you can see the piercing fiery ray is active, and that troubles me deeply. Legend tells us that it protects the castle and the surrounding area of Uruk with a formidable power. This area is full of traps and obstacles, but nothing as devastating as the ray. Well, don't walk in the ray, then. Beyond this point, my powers are useless. I'm afraid I cannot accompany you any further. <laughs> now both of you will search out the magical blade of Osiris. Only if you work together will you have a possibility of finding it. Good luck on your quest, my brave young adventurers. I think I can see something interesting in the rock structure over there. I'll go investigate it. You should check out this area. Yeah, he is a stupid voice. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want, Horace? That's Horace, by the way. He's kind of a douche. Like Gary. So, he gets a stupid voice. Okay. So here we are. We're Sphinx. Haha, -ha, we have a tail and everything. Um, and these plants explode. Don't be touching that. Uh, let's see. This game starts off kind of brutal. Notice how X is the... yeah. X does things. Like picking up rocks. Okay. And they don't really explain what you need to do, but you need to... Yeah. Look at the trees! To get a coconut. You got a coconut! Why? Why did I get a coconut? I... Well... I can show you why you need coconuts. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> this is how I figured it out. Hey, lava! Uh, wait. How did I do this? Jeez, I don't remember. How did I figure out? Ugh. Oh, whatever. Ooh, wait. There's another tree. There's another rock. But yeah, anyway. This game starts off kind of brutal. You're limited with this really short range. Whoops. Jump. And, uh, 
very little instruction. I want you to throw it, Sphinx. I watched. I'm pushing the. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh my God, a snake! I have no way of fighting either. Yeah, you start off with no way to fight. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. And one other thing about this game that kind of makes it extremely difficult is uh, you only have one life. So if you die, you go back to the last time you saved, erasing all progress past that point. So, yeah, don't die. Don't die ever. What are these? Oh, yeah, these give you health. The little onks. Why wasn't there a coconut in there? I need a coconut. Hey, Sphinx, I'm over here by the lava fall. Come on over, I need to show you something. Better not be a trap, Horus, you jerk. Or I'll, uh, you know, punch you in the face. That's an old A for longer jump. Hmm, <laughs> 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 this is too high for you, isn't it? I don't understand why the master insisted on having you accompany me. You're just holding me back. I'm skillful enough to find the blade without your help. You'll need to figure out how to get up here yourself. Horus, you're a jerk. Just, uh, find a rope. And then, ooh, there he is. Okay, so... He's the reason we need coconuts, you'll soon see. <laughs> and... Oh. I got another coconut. Put the lime in the coconut! Uh, shake it all up. His jump looks like it should be farther than it is. <laughs> but he can barely make those little jumps. Okay. That was with me holding A. So. Hello. He ate me. Pua, you're too scrawny. I'm starving, but I'm not desperate enough to eat the likes of you. Too many crows. If only I had a few coconuts. I haven't had a coconut in ages. Hmm, just thinking about them. Ugh. A lava monster that wants coconuts. Well, I have coconuts for you. <laughs> hey, you with the face paint. What's that smell on you? Is it... Yes, coconuts! Could I have some? Wow, his voice just suddenly changed. Sure, help yourself. Oh, thank you. That feels much better. Just step under my tongue and I can help you reach where you need to go. First, choose the horizontal. Hey, what, what, what. <laughs> choose carefully, though. If you tell me to spit you in the lava, I will do exactly as you say. <laughs> oh, you're a jerk. Why don't you think for yourself, brainless beast? <laughs> the voice is really hard to do. Probably shouldn't have done that. Whoa! Wow. Perfect. Ah, you got up here at last. I didn't think you'd make it. Your snail's pace has lost us precious time. Anyway, I found the blood of Ra. Master Emotep said it would allow us to walk on flowing lava and steam geysers. But it's impossible to get near it. I will need to find another solution. Why are you, Mr. Stand there for a long period of time not doing anything? Stupid Horus. Why don't you pick up rocks? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. There you go. Boom. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that solution before. You were probably just lucky. Or rather, I knew the solution and I was simply toying with you. You already admitted that you didn't know. He's stupid. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Yada, yada, whatever. So we gotta stand in this weird thing and get this lava shield. Woo! Let's do it. Let's not get lost. This is actually timed, so... <laughs> gotta hurry. Hurry up! Run up the lava! I already grabbed it. I'm already pulling it. Aw, yeah, boy! So that's very little hint to go on, sort of. I mean, it just it just squirted once, right? And my shield's about to go out! Holy God, get on the thing! Ha! Ah. Ah. Yeah, anyway. 
That confused me a little bit, because it only squirted once, so I was like, what? Oh, wait, I gotta go s get spit up there again. Ugh. I need more platforms. I don't trust this flashing shield. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Sphinx, huh? I've never actually played it before last week, so... It's actually really good. I love it. Ooh, please land it, please. Thank you. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We haven't even met the mummy part yet, but oh my god. Oh, I didn't even get it yet. Give me... Thank you. But yeah, the mummy, the mummy stuff is really fun. But you'll see. You'll see. Hatcha. I miss the Sphinx. I'm really muscular. I don't need. I don't need sleeves. I'm sleeve sleeveless. Sleeveless in Uruk. Whoa! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! No time! No time! Go! 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 No time! No time! Thank you. Oh, what? Why would you do that to me? You stupid eyeball! Yeah. So yeah, if those eyeball things see you, they enable traps and doors and things. You just have to uh, sneak past it. I think I can sneak past it. Oh wait, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. No! Ah! Good thing they don't have ears. <laughs> Another rock. Do I need it? Yeah, I need it. Ah, da, 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 da. Hope you like yeah. rocks! Oh, I missed you completely. I'll be right back. And gonna get another rock. Mm. <laughs> Here you yeah. go! <laughs> His eye spun around like crazy! Oh my god! Exploding plants. Sphinx, over here! I think I may need you after all. Look, if you throw a rock at that animal warren over there, perhaps you'll get something useful. What is a warren? <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the rock. This is kind of a weird way to start a game. I mean, you're given yeah. absolutely no abilities other than picking up rocks, basically. <laughs> Be careful, Sphinx. These monsters look pretty harmless, but they are highly explosive. When angry, they flash red and hurl themselves toward the enemy, exploding on contact. If you're quick on your feet, you can use them to your advantage by luring them to an object. Oh, is that true? And he coughed up a baby. That's pretty, pretty cool there. Yeah. So yeah, we gotta blow up all these ropes. This way, little frog baby. This way. This way. Right here. Wow, they grow up so fast! Do -do 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 I need another frog, babe. Frog. He coughed up a baby. Already. Oh, he blew up his own kid. Oh my god. They're supposed to keep coming out, but there you know. I'm just gonna stand back. See, this defies physics. What is this? How is this gonna hold the rock right there? It's not. It just. It just is not. We'll go around this way. This way, frog legs, McGee. Mm. Ah! Booyah! Progress, progress! Wee! Let's go stand under it! Yeah! Oh, don't do that! <laughs> All right, cool. Oh my God! 
Monkey statue! These sacred statues allow you to save your progress. Yep. These things are the most glorious sight in all of Sphinxdom. Oh my goodness. You gotta save this game and save off, and I tell you what. Okay, little spiders. Hey, Sphinx, up here! Come on, we must hurry! I'm going to need your help up here. Just jump against the wall and use it, whatever. Yeah, okay. Watch out for the spiders, though. They could give you nasty bite if you're not careful. Okay. I would imagine so. They're like their legs look like they could uh, chop up a piece of meat. Oh! Whoa! God. This isn't Skyward Sword, man. You can't just jump up walls. What are you doing? Speaking of which, I just got that. But unfortunately, it's a Christmas present for myself. So I can't even play it until Christmas. <laughs> Do not open till Christmas. Mm. Oh my god! Okay, watch the laser eyes coming out of the walls, man. Do it again. What? Over here, use the railing. Craft again, okay. Whew. How many t t t t tutorials there were? Stupid eyeballs. Why don't you zap when I'm in front of you? Hmm? Losers. Loser, loser pants. Oh god. Loser, loser. Loser, 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 loser. Oh my god. Okay. Almost there, I think. Whoop. Climb ropes. Ah. Oh my god, no! <laughs> what the heck? What? How did I spawn here? Oh my god, every time I've o ever died, I've spawned at a, a freaking save. What the heck? I guess this is a tutorial, so they really... Wow, that's never happened to me. At last, I have found it, the ancient blade of Osiris. Look, it sits over there on that rock pinnacle, but how can we reach it? Well, you could probably fly because you're a jerk bird. The blade of Osiris is now in sight, but I can see no way of getting to it. How did you climb that cliff before, Horus? And you can't do this? What the heck? Eh. Uh, well, let's cross the bridge, jeez. la dee da dee da um. Hmm. This is a predicament, my friend. I see no way of doing that either. Let's go this way then. Uh. Nope. Just check test it. How about this? Yoinkity yoink, yoink, spoink, boink. There we go. Hmm, thank you very much, Sphinx. You've been more than helpful than more helpful than I expected. Now I can get to the blade of Osiris. You better not take that blade, you jerk. You know, you haven't done anything. What's going on? Everything's trembling. Look, the ray is charging! the Eye of Sauron, dude. You're lucky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no, where's this thing going? Sphinx! He doesn't care. Pony Sphinx don't care. Alright, well. There goes our competition. <laughs> Big deal. This is a zipline. I know a zipline when I see a zipline. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, is that tail even attached? I don't know. I mean, it's waving around like it's alive, so you'd think it would be. Hmm. We'll just assume it is. Okay, well, that was easy. Let's uh, not fall in the lava now. Uh oh! 
Hi -o. Hi -o. We did it! Blade of Osiris! You got the Blade of Osiris? Thank you! Great God Osiris himself once wielded this powerful weapon. Press and hold B to perform a back and sword slash. Press A, press A. Press A. Ah. Woo! Smack lanterns. That's all it's good for. You have found the blade of Osiris, but your actions have alerted those in the castle of Uruk. Those, through those caves is a magical portal, ancient devices formerly used by the gods to travel between worlds. Many years ago, I hit a portal amulet up on a high ledge on the exterior of the portal chamber. That amulet will allow you to return swiftly and safely to our temple. But you must hurry, Sphinx, before you suffer the same fate as Horus! What a world, what a world! So yeah, we got the Blade of Osiris! So now we can do all sorts of swipe, 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 swipe. Defeating the Sith, you know? That's what we're gonna do. Uh... Oh, right, we gotta go down here. <laughs> bye bye, Dragon Statue! Lava shield go. Lava lava shield go. Sweet. I like how that sword is just like made of sand or something. Oh, that's a short one. Don't fall in the lava. Oh. Wait, I gotta go up here. But yeah, it like disintegrates. If you don't use it for a while, the sword just kinda disintegrates into sand. It's pretty sweet. Pretty flippin' awesome. Bye bye. Those eyeballs ain't no thing anymore. Ain't no thing. Uh, I can still use rocks, or I can just run right through these. Yay! What Zelda-esque doors? What's going on? Hmm. I like treasure. Da 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 da! You got a mysterious amulet! Woo! Strange symbols on this ancient artifact indicate transport to a mysterious location. And it also triggers the release of creatures. Yay! Oh god, get the heck off of me! You little beast! Oh my god, oh! Face huggers! They're trying to impregnate me! Oh! Oh, mercy. Mercy. So, see, we have three uh, health units. And each of them have... They're cut into thirds. Unlike the quarters that... Uh, hey, money. Gold scarab, yeah. So, yeah, they're in thirds, unlike the Zelda hearts. Which are in fourths. Oh, no. And another boom boom, baby. Deadly Eye of Raw Post is made of cracked stone. It will looks like some kind of explosion would shatter it. Hmm. Come here, frog legs. I got a mission. Ooh, oh boy. Boom! You're dead, Eye of Raw. You are dead. And I got hit by that explosion. Cool! Ah, snake, snake, snake! Or, uh, should I say asp? It's an asp. No. To go with the Egyptian, uh. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's the money. <laughs> the money sounds really creepy. Because it's a bunch of scarabs. You just keep them in your pockets. Hello! Bones McGee! Oh, how did I not miss? Ah. No, you don't. This game reminds me a lot of Zelda, which is amazing. 
Oh no! What the heck, man? I, oh, maybe just when I was playing it was bugged or something, because I kept spawning back at the save points whenever I fell in lava. Oh my god. I hope that's what it was, because that will make this game so much easier. But it definitely looked like I should have made that jump. It's just, ugh, I don't know. Come here, bones. You're dead. What the heck are those bones of? Those creatures from Oddworld? The four legs and the weird head? I don't know. I have no idea. This has been an extremely long video. It's probably ended soon. Well, let's see if we can go through the portal at least. I think we're kind of close. Whoa, there's a crack there. Woo! Come on, fireball, come back. <laughs> such epic jumps for such little hops, you know? I mean, Link could do that auto jumping. Those are creepy. Jump and slash. Jump and slash. Jump and slash. Oh, there's nothing there. Jump and slash. Oh, no, jump and slash. Did we do it? You. Yeah. Okay, uh... Don't be fooled, that doesn't cover the entire hole. So don't just go walking up to it, because you'll fall in the pit. I've done that. <laughs> uh, Die, dragon! Hey, a light bridge. Yay! Okay, this is where Mr. Emotep told us to go. So cool. I really like the environments in this. Oh, I have Sauron! Look out, Sphinx! Oh. oh, man. What are we, Dark Souls now? Alas, you are trapped here in the portal chamber, and you do not have the correct portal amulet. You should, we should be grateful that you are still alive. Unfortunately, the defenses of the castle are simply too strong for us. You failed to collect the amulet that would send you home, but I see you've found another mysterious amulet. I have no idea where it will take you, but it seems you have no choice. Step into the magic circle in front of the portal guard and use the amulet. Sphinx, I only hope it takes you to a safe destination. Me too, jeez. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna s actually save first. And, uh, wow, this is a long video. Oh my god. So, yeah. Next time, we'll take Mr. Portal God's portal and, uh, see where we go. So, yep. See you guys next time.